Hi everyone, I wanted to take the time to teach you how to install Orbex True Earth Scenery into your X-Plane 12. It's currently getting close to the end of 2024, and Orbex has yet to add official support for their True Earth Sceneries. I purchased these for X-Plane 11, and I haven't had any noticeable issues using them on X-Plane 12. If you did purchase these sceneries in the past and still have X-Plane 11 installed, you just need to copy and paste them over to your X-Plane 12 scenery folder. But if not, or if you would like to purchase them, you will need to trick Orbex Central into thinking you have X-Plane 11 installed. To do this, you will need to enter the app data folder which houses your PC's registry. You can search app data or click on your local drive, followed by the users folder, and then click on your PC name, then click app data. If you do not see this folder, click view and select hidden items. Now go ahead and click on the app data folder and then click on local. Scroll down to the very bottom and you will see xplane install 12. You just need to copy this file and paste it in place and then rename it and change the 12 on the end to 11. Now you can close this or keep it minimized and then go and open Orbex Central and you will notice now in the drop down you have X-Plane 11 as an option, allowing you to see all the X-Plane 11 products and you can now purchase or install them if you already own them. Once you do that, these should now start installing into the X-Plane 12 root folder. When you have them installed, one thing you need to watch out for is the layering. If the True Earth sceneries are layered over the default scenery, it will remove the terminal buildings from your airports. To check this, enter the X-Plane 12 root folder and click on Custom Scenery. And now we're not worried about the folders themselves. What we need to take a look at is the Scenery Packs configuration file. Go ahead and make a backup of this file before beginning. This file tells X-Plane what order to load the scenery in. If your Orbex files are on the top, you will need to cut and paste them below Global Airports. Once you do this, you can hit save. Now for myself, this alone was not enough. I needed to go over to Orbex Central, click on the gear, and then enter settings, and come down to configuration. From here, uncheck enable automatic layers. This will prevent Orbex from reordering the layers incorrectly upon loading into the sim. If you still have trouble with the order changing when you load in, you can set the scenery pack's config file to read only and this will ensure no other software can manipulate this layering order and it will use the configuration file exactly the way you have it set up. Now with all this done, you are now ready to utilize your True Earth scenery in X-Plane 12. I hope this tutorial was clear and helpful. If you have any further questions, drop them in the comments below and I will help you address whatever the issue may be. Thanks for watching everyone, now go have some fun.